What's up, YouTube? What's up, y'all? Y'all know I'm Steve QB, bringing y'all back yet another video. Uh, wanted to give it a little update on what I'm using now. I actually changed over from the rifle I was using and switched into the SMG World. I should have done it a long time ago because I like playing with the style of not having minimum engagement or anything along them lines. I like smaller profiles, even my GNG that I was using, my M4 was more of a PDW type style without really being a standard PDW but went ahead and just you know had it kind of pushed in as best I could as short as I could because I like that particular style but I went ahead and I jumped on the bandwagon I went ahead and went with the ARP9 um, pretty simple try to keep it pretty simple to it I've learned over my time of playing airsoft is the, the simpler the better uh, particularly I don't like a really heavy gun I don't like packing around a lot of things like that I'm cool with just being able to move it quickly light and go about my way and play some airsoft um, but this one uh, man I'm so so happy about it I actually gave uh, released a video yesterday of me playing with this one um, I think it was the first and only video I have out with it um, I'm playing a game of breach if you haven't seen that one yet I'll link it right there um, but nonetheless, man, this gun is fun. I didn't want to jump too much on the bandwagon, the ARP9, because it seemed like a lot of people had it. Um, I knew it was great right out of the box um, as an AEG. Um, stock was, from what I've seen, most people seem to really liked them. Uh, but this one is not an AEG. I went ahead and put my Polar Star Jack from my other GNG into this one. Uh, runs great love it to death um switched over a couple things i have my pts uh mag or i'm sorry grip onto this one now um this actually has an moe stock to it uh tube stock uh, i'm also running a uh the same inner barrel the mad bull alloy uh 01 inner barrel on the inside that's a tight bore i like it to death uh, I shave mine down to make it shorter. If you don't know how to do that, I wouldn't suggest doing it to your inner barrel with just let somebody else does it. Do it, excuse me. Uh, on this one, I've actually got the Ace Tech um, BT Tracer. I really like this Tracer. I uh, bought it off a one of the team members with me. Really, really, really enjoy this Tracer. Uh, you can chronograph with this one through an app. Um, works great. Uh, you can charge it externally. It doesn't have no batteries or anything like that that you got to replace in it um, One of the other ones I had that was an ace tech you actually had it was really long about six and a half inches long You actually had four triple-a batteries put in it and I'm not I didn't really care for that too much um, on to this one as well. I also put a pistol light on This one mounted onto the bottom of the rail. This is the iProtec Light this actually has a couple settings. So you have high you have a little bit lower and you have the strobe which actually does you can see that it's actually kind of like a pattern slow then speeds up really enjoy this light a lot um, I didn't put it on top I know a lot of people like to put lights on top uh, I don't really care for it on top I rather have the more slick look up here and it's easy for me to just click the button real quick because I tend to hold the magwell more than anything um, I had an angle grip on my other rifle, but I still didn't end up grabbing that grip much. Uh, I've always been one for just kind of holding the mag well and holding a tight profile. Um, and that's, I don't know, that's just the kind of the way I like to play. Just a little bit, you know, hold the peak corners a little bit better. Um, I wish this tracer was almost a little bit shorter, or at least my inner barrel or I'm sorry, the outer barrel, just a little bit shorter to kind of bring this in the rail. I think that would look pretty dope in my own opinion. Uh, but yeah, I'm having trouble for the most part. I'm having to order a few mags. Um, I picked up three, these, the, this particular mag and two more, um, which quick shout out to the team right there, PBZ sticker on there to identify. Uh, 
But these are 60 round mags. I have three of these and been playing with a couple buddies, um, 120s, uh, Classic Army 120 mags over the video, uh, over the weekend. I love them. They're, they're great. They're, they're a lot easier to, to deal with. It's thinner than the M4 mags. Um, really, really like them a lot. Um, I w I, I, I'm serious, y'all. I wish I'd have jumped on this bandwagon ARP-9 a long time ago. Uh, I, I flirted for a few minutes with the idea of the ARP-556 just to kind of keep that kind of profile like that. But uh, I went with the 9. I think I was better off with the 9. Uh, so I, I've seen some guys. I've played one before with the drum mags. Uh, I'm sure some of y'all have seen it. And maybe some of y'all have the drum mags. I particularly don't care for drum mags. I don't really like them. It's not the the spinning thing that I, that bothers me. It's just the the profile thing. I don't like this big round box thing on on the gun. I I just don't care for that much. Um, but this gun itself, man, has been it has been awesome to me so far. Uh, still have the speed trigger, uh, speed brand, the speed trigger on here. Uh, just still shoots really well, really fast. Um, it's been an overall good experience with this gun. Um, this one is the gun that I will be using at the tournament that we're going back to on July 3rd. So do not miss out on that one. Uh, if you haven't seen my last video of the tournament that we did um, a week a week ago, um, I'll link it right here if you want to see it or any interest. Um, but that was in Nashville, Tennessee. That's the Speed QB tournament. So we'll, we, we will be returning on July 3rd. Uh, a little bit different lineup and we're also going to have two teams a team a run and a team b run from pbz um so it's gonna be it's gonna be it's gonna be hype so if you are down there let me know drop a comment that you're gonna be in nashville on july 3rd if you're gonna compete or just open play i think we're gonna be there a little bit for an open play uh just to warm up make sure guns are working fine everything like that before the tournament actually starts um super pumped about it that is a great world to be in. Um, wish we had it here in Paducah. Um, it'd be super dope to have that same type of field, but it's not easy to kind of set up. Um, but nonetheless, uh, we play this out here. And if you get the opportunity, man, y'all are out in Paducah or anything like that over here in West Kentucky, make sure you come out here to ACS Airsoft. We're out there about every single week. Um, sometimes, you know, weekends where we play both Saturday and Sunday. Sometimes there's a Wednesday game. I'm normally not at a Wednesday game, but uh, make sure y'all come out there and game with us. Sling some plastic with us. Um, but for real, if y'all got an ARP-9 or anything like that, tell me if you like it. Tell me what you don't like about it, so on and so forth. It's a new gun to me. Um, so give me a heads up what you think about this gun. Uh, if you had it or why you got it or if you had it and let it go, you know, whatever the case might be. Uh, but until then, man, I'm going to get in here and start editing this video. Um, but yeah, man, y'all know what it is. Game on every single time and uh, see y'all in the next one.